Let's go to the front of the Oz. Now, of course, these are all linked, these stories, because they all relate Thanks, to coronavirus. Sure. But uh, the, other, the other big story right now is the fact that China, the very hairy-chested China, is carrying on like a pork chop and has gone as far as making sure that uh, uh, tariffs have been imposed on Bali. China exports cheap shots. War of words with Ambassador Bali tariffs complaint to WTO. And, of course, I'm very interested in, uh, Greg Sheridan, uh, Australia's relationship with China is headed towards crisis point. I'm at a fresh war of words with Beijing's top diplomat in Canberra and fears of further reprisals from the nation's biggest trading partner. Now, Greg Sheridan, the best in the business, without any question, when it comes to international affairs, has uh, a comment piece. I cannot recall a Chinese ambassador being so publicly aggressive or so routinely breaching the normal protocols of diplomacy. Now, that guy wouldn't be doing what he's doing in Canberra unless he had explicit instructions from Beijing. Well, it's certainly not Diplomacy 101, is it? He's certainly not hiding how Beijing is feeling about Australia at all. And to think that this comes just weeks after we were described as you know, Australia being the gum on the sole of China. So there certainly isn't any respect coming from China. And the fact that our Trade and Tourism Minister can't actually get a return phone call or return correspondence from his equivalent in China, I think, says it all. But, you know, at the end of this, we have got people in the agriculture industry who are now desperately trying to work out what they're going to do with their crops. Now, for grain growers, they're actually in the middle of their, their season now of planting, so of, of the seeds going in the ground. So what do they do? The rug has been completely pulled out from under them. And now I know the Morrison government is being very strong, and I think that's great, but they do have to hold the line on this because just look at what's being said on social media, and I'm not talking about Twitter, Gliso, but look across social media in general. There is real anger amongst the general community about how they perceive China treating Australia and they want us to hold a firm line and look, are very angry about what's happening to our farmers. And I think Australia will hold a very strong line. I think that there will be a reset button pushed on our relationship with China and yep. I, think, I think you'll see us explore opportunities with India, with Indonesia. There's a free trade agreement with Indonesia that kicks off on July the 7th and I think that it might, 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 be, might be June the 7th, but that will be pivotal to Australia's future. Mm. Bombastic, bullying behaviour from China will not be tolerated. Will not be tolerated. And for what? All right, the Herald said... And for said, what? Because now, we dared... Go ahead. So I was say, and for what? Because yeah, we because dared to ask for an inquiry to find out the truth behind the pandemic, which has cost, you know, cost lives, cost jobs, cost livelihoods, you know, shut down the entire world. How dare we? That this is what we're being punished for. Yeah. And, and wouldn't you think, Lisa, that China would be as keen as anyone to establish what actually went down here? Did it come from a lab? Did it come from some bat soup? Did aliens yeah. bring it down? Wouldn't you think they'd be interested in finding out exactly where this particular virus emanated from? Because many, many thousands, tens of thousands of their good folk mm. died as a result of this. And if it's it comes in a, in a more virulent strain, in a more deadly strain, but it can wipe out the world. Wouldn't you think they'd be fair income? Yeah, and Gleeson, look, Australia was first out of the blocks, and, and good on Scott Morrison for doing that, but 130 countries have now backed him, and we're expecting a decision tonight to see whether mm. this independent or this inquiry will go ahead. It's uh, just come you know, through, and China, yeah. and, and China is saying that... You know, look, they didn't want any inquiry until the virus has, has completely been managed. Well, when is that day? You know, we don't know when there will be a vaccine. It mm. could be another year away. And we were talking about border closures. Well, that's one of the, the relevant points for our, you know, our leaders to look at too. Um, you know, mm. how far away is a vaccine? How far do you drag out this economic crisis now mm. waiting for getting control of this virus?